Welcome back to a haul vlog. I've been all around the world. Well, it's only thirty-one dollars. <laughs> you put that money in. Every city, <laughs> every place. Oh, always been a restless girl. Oh, but now there's a wind of change. I never ever felt this way. This is the October 2020 haul vlog. And as you can see, I am at our resort. We're at the Polynesian right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make this vlog um, the type where every day I go ahead and show you so that when I get home, I can just go ahead and unpack everything. It's just easier this way. I haven't done it this way in a couple trips and I definitely prefer it this way. Yeah, I can get my stuff then. <laughs> And Mr. Mouse Diva has to put in his two cents. Yeah, he's always like, well, can I have my stuff? And I'm like, no, I have to film the haul first. And it could be weeks before I film the haul. So, and he's back there nodding his head. So, uh, this way is just a lot easier on all of us. Yes, yes it is. Okay. So, actually, our first day here, we um, did something different. We actually drove right through Orlando um, and we did some other things that will come out on videos later and hauls later. But our first day in the park was yesterday, Sunday, October 4th, and I only bought three things. Um, the first being uh, the DVC, the new DVC pens, which I was really shocked were still around because I think these came out in the beginning of September or maybe yeah I think so so I was really surprised with the limit a limited edition of 4,000 that they were still going to be around so I was extremely happy especially for this one I really love this goofy and Chippendale one and they now retail for $17.99 they used to be $15.99 um, but we get our 30% off discount don't know how long that's gonna last they had um, at one point said it was only going to last for two weeks and I think it did end but then very shortly thereafter they brought it right back so everything that I show you is going to be 30% off unless otherwise stated. We got off the uh, Runaway Railway. That is a tongue twister for me. I have issues saying that. And the Wishables were back so way back when they actually sold out of these and there is one that I really want. Oh my gosh, it's the person. Is it Chubby? Chubby. Chubby? Crud. Chewy? It's not Chewy. The bird's name. She told us. I, I thought it was Chewy, which made no sense with like the whole Star Wars land. Chubby or Chubby? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So when we got off the ride, we saw a plush with the bird from the ride. And I'm like, does that bird have a name? And they're like, oh yes, it's. And now I've drawn a complete blank. If it's Chewy or Chubby, Chubby. All right, great. Yeah, I mean, I could stop right now and look it up, but I'm not because I just want to open it. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping for the bird, and it is going to be either the bird or Daisy. I actually had some help from cast members, Gracie and Amanda. So if this is not the bird, um, it's one of their faults. No, it's not. <laughs> um, I'm pretty, it's not going to be the car, which I would really wouldn't mind having, or the train, because we've kind of felt the bag. So, let's open it and see. I'm actually going to let you guys kind of see it first. I think I see. Yeah, <laughs> she was right. Thank you, Gracie. All right, so I really, really wanted the bird, and... Gracie and Amanda kind of helped me out feeling a couple bags for me and Gracie said yes it, it this this one's it this one's it because the first one I pulled out and kind of felt ended up she said was going to be Daisy so yay I'm so happy and he's disappointed because he I'm wanted not, it to be a different one I'm not disappointed but if it wasn't I really wanted to see your reaction yeah, he's, live. yeah he's like I have to see you open this because I have to know what you got so yay thank you Gracie and Amanda I got I'm the back bird. and it's day two well, technically it's day three or four 
three. I don't know. I've lost track. I'm on vacation. I'm not supposed to keep track. But our second day there, we were at Epcot and we made a lot more purchases than we did the day before. So we're going to start off with the Remy Hide and Squeak. Um, and it was $7.99 discount remember and it came with little extra stickers this time the bad thing is <laughs> we forgot we had it really um, we found two of them so what happens is you go around world, world showcase you're supposed to find the little like ceramic or resin or whatever it is Remy in each country then put coordinate coordinating stickers so um, we do know that I believe the garlic was in Morocco I think so we need to stick that garlic um, on the Morocco and when we're all done they will stamp it and they will give us our little prize which will come when we get it like I mean I'll show it to you when we get it <laughs> speaking of Remy I found the Disney gift card I love these every festival they have um, a little wristlet gift card. It is so convenient because you're not digging in and out of your pocket. You just show it to them. They scan it with their little um, gun, wand, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I love this and I love that it's Remy because you guys know I love Remy. I have a lot of Remy in my kitchen. Speaking of Remy, they had a new type of salt and pepper shaker this time. A very unique shape. Um, it is a pass holder shaker. Food and Wine Festival 25th anniversary. The only reason I got it is because Remy is on it. Um, and it was $12.99. Now, speaking of Food and Wine Festival... I caved and bought one pen from there. And it is Bian um, Bianca and Bernard. I couldn't resist because there's just not a lot of merchandise with them on it. So this was $17.99. They had so many pens this year because of the uh, anniversary, but I did really well and only got that one. Speaking of pens, Mr. Mouse Diva bought pew, pew. He bought this pen for his son for Christmas. One more pen. So you saw the two DVC pens I got the first day. Well, I didn't realize there was one more. Um, this was the first time I had seen it. Actually saw it here at the Polynesian, I think. Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm losing track. Maybe the first pens I got. Yes. I did see this at the Polynesian. Um, so now I have three. I don't think there are any more right now. Ah, I just love the DVC pens. Okay, let's go with Mr. Mouse Diva's purchase. He loves Chippendale just as much as I do, and he bought himself a new mug. Don't know the price of it because the price tag is blank, but I do know that he did not get it for free. All right, I'm going to go over to this side of the couch. And what did I get? Oh, for all of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but you did not know if I got it. I, the picture I took for Instagram, I actually did not buy it at that point because we didn't want to lug it around. By the time we got out of our, the restaurant for dinner, the stores were closed. And I was so nervous I wouldn't get it. It is so soft. There is a blanket inside and it fits over luggage. Why I'm so excited about this is because even though we do not fly often, we will be flying um, the summer of 2021. Um, we're going somewhere we've never been before. So make sure that you're subscribed to my family channel, Life's a Whirlwind. Because we have lots of travel vlogs on that from other places other than Disney and Universal. This cutie patootie was $39.99 and this is what the blanket looks like. So anyway, getting back to flying, um, I look forward to taking this, this with me on the plane. Speaking of the child, I got a sticker. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. <laughs> he was $4.99 and with the 30% off discount, I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting this. Really don't know what I'm going to do yet. Let's go back. To Mr. Mouse Diva, who bought Lakeland a Christmas present? Baby Groot. Lakeland loves Groot. 
And even if people who are maybe not a major fan of Groot, how can you say no to this face? He's so stinking adorable. And he was $26.99. Oh, you get a load of this. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Check that tag out. And his little Marvel tag. Oh my gosh. I mean, really. And back to me. Something Disney has not had, I don't think I've ever seen, at least not in a very long time. They might have had some Cinderella's Castle ones maybe years ago, but I'm not positive. So it's a Halloween item, right? Cute, adorable graphics, right? Well, if you saw my new merch vlog, you know that this is a candle. A pumpkin sm spice smelling candle. Guys, amazing. And it was only $19.99. Extremely, extremely heavy. I cannot wait to get home and burn this baby. And one more for Mr. Mouse Diva, and that is maple syrup. Yes, he bought maple syrup. So, Food and Wine Festival. Actually, last year we saw this booth at the Food and Wine Festival, and he tasted their syrup, liked it, however, did not buy it. But he went ahead and bought a thing this time. It is $25. Yes, that is a lot for maple syrup, but this is like pure, the good stuff, like the hard stuff. I want to make note that if it was not for the 30% off that was going on right now, we probably wouldn't have bought some of this merchandise. First purchase of the day, walking by a pin cart, which they don't have all the pin carts open. And not that I was looking for pins because I told y'all earlier on that I'm trying to cut down on pins. Well, actually, I might not have said it in the haul vlog, but I said it in the regular vlog. Um, I'm, I'm trying to limit how many pins I bought. But I saw this from from so far away. I had no idea. I hadn't seen anything posted on this and it caught my attention right away. Limited release. It is super awesome. Glows in the dark. That's kind of irrelevant, but it still makes it cool. Um, and it was $29.99. It's a super big pen. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the back because I'm a collector. I'm not taking it out of the box. Today was the day they came out with the new Animal Kingdom print Dooney and Burke bags. So they had a table out. Well, I timed it just right because there was only like one person at the table. And you know, when normally when Dooney's come out, there's like a long line out the building, around the building, whatever. But anyway, went to go look at those just so I could vlog them. And um, laying there, they also had these i get i guess because these had just came out too so i'm like well i got the big one i'm gonna go ahead and get this limited release one also and this was 15.99 cool man. oh i didn't even realize this was a pass holder exclusive that's why i got it this one's not pass holder everybody okay and also on that table Again, this is the main thing about that 30% off. This would not have been bought if it was not for the 30% off. Again, I did not know anything about this, but it is a new Disney Dogs Dooney and Burke Magic Band. It's been updated. You see Dante on there? And oh, I feel so bad. Like, oh. I really feel bad that I was holding it the wrong way for you guys. Let me tell you something about my Dooney and Burks. This is only my third one. I don't wear them at the parks. Unless I'm going to Disney Springs. I'll wear them at Disney Springs. Um, I wear them as bracelets in my everyday life. Because I don't want them dirty. Especially one like this with the white background. Which I prefer the white background. Oh, and a black background. Actually, one of my other Dooney um, ones is a black background. So, comment below which is your favorite Disney dog. And, Cherie, I know you're going to say Stitch. Oh, and let me tell you something else. I never asked the price. And I'm kind of glad I didn't. Mr. Mouse Steve is not. Because I probably may, I probably wouldn't have got it. 
Um, $58. 30% off though. I would not have paid $58. I wouldn't have paid the 20% off $58. I did not know it was $58 until I took it out of the bag and saw the receipt. Like I didn't even pay attention because I bought this in the um, Haunted Mansion pen at the same time. And I'm always talking to the cast members. We're always talking about things. And I really never even really hear the prices because I'm in deep conversation with these people. <laughs> and I never paid attention to how much it was. But I have a new bracelet. Another so Halloween item. That's cool. Mickey says, give me candy. But Minnie does not say. Oh, yes, she does. I didn't see that. Sweet fun for everyone. I did not see that until I saw it on camera. That's my eyes were playing tricks on me because of the light. Like her bow. Isn't that adorable? Okay, guys, kid you not. They're $7.99 each. So Minnie has like candy corn gummies in her. And then Mickey just has regular candy corn in him. Buy one, get one free. Seriously, buy one, get one free at the Disney parks. And it's only October 6th right now. It's not like it's November and they're going to go out of date. It's not even Halloween. Buy one, get one half off. So I got one. I got them for the kids. You know, they're home, didn't get to come on the, on the adult trip. So there we go. Except where well, they get the candy. I get the containers because... I got to do my Halloween decorating when I get back. Okay, so it is about dinner time. We're off to Disney Springs. Who knows? Wait a minute. I'm not done. I bought a Christmas present. Those who follow me on Instagram have already seen this. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, people, because you see things before the vlog comes up or you see things that I never post in a vlog. Oh yeah, baby. Baby Yoda, the child, silver Crocs. Now, let me show you something. Something I was worried about. Um, remember years ago, and I think the kids ones might have it. Um, they had these little, they look like these, and they would um, go into the Crocs, but they would always pop out. They would come out. This is not like that. It is not like, like you cannot remove this. This is like in there. So hopefully... He is very secure in there. Lakeland, I sent a picture of these for him, and he says, they are so cool, I need them. Why don't you bring them home for me because I'm taking care of the dogs while y'all are gone? No, Lakeland, Christmas present. It is way too close to Christmas present, to Christmas, to get you a 50 some dollar <laughs> um, taking care of the dogs gift. So he will be getting these for Christmas. And guys, I came so close to buying them, buying me a pair. But the August trip, I had bought a pair of Disney Crocs. If you want to see those, if you don't know which ones I'm talking about, then you need to see my haul vlogs, the August Walt Disney World vacation trip haul, which I had to break into two parts. Again, the 30% off, and I was doing a lot of birthday and Christmas shopping, so it was a really long vlog. It would have been about 50 minutes if I would not have broken that up. I have no idea how long this one's gonna be. I'm trying to talk fast so I don't have to break it up into two, but we'll see. So Disney Springs today, back to Epcot tomorrow, and then Magic Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, two days of Magic Kingdom. Lots more shopping, guys, to do. So I'll see you in just a second. So we're back from Disney Springs. Just did a little bit more shopping. <clears throat> First, isn't this adorable? It doesn't come with the reflection of the ring light, by the way. Um, we got these at the crepe stand. And we got a crepe. How does this even open? Okay, wait a minute. So it's a... There we go. Um, Mickey Mouse Club. Dog bowl. Yeah, dog bowl, basically. It's supposed to come with, like, um, some type of waffle sundae or something. They were out of vanilla ice cream. We got a banana crepe. Um, but we're just, like, charged for, like, the, the other thing. But, like, this, this is just too cute. So, nice little container. And Mr. Mouse Diva got this cool movie theater bag when he bought um, a 
uh, Anna and Elsa mask for his daughter for Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, they had their ornaments, uh, three for 60, like they normally have that sale going on. Um, but I was not expecting to also be able to get the annual pass holder discount along with that sale. So I picked up the Mulan and Mushu ornament for my son. Um, I have a tradition with my kids that every year I get them an ornament. I always write, you know, to Lakeland, you know, their name, um, from Mama. Well, it used to be from Mommy. And then I would have the year on it. So I always get an ornament that I can write that info on. And so his ornament this year will be this one. I think it's absolutely amazing. He is going to and love it. And I could not resist. You just do not see enough merchandise with these guys on them. So this one is the 75th anniversary. There we go. And actually you could tell these were going fast. I think after we grabbed this one, I think there was only like three more left. And I already stated earlier how it's hard to get merchandise with Bernard and Bianca on it. So, and even Mr. Mouse Diva was like, oh yeah, that that one. What, what did you say actually about this one? Uh, that we both like it? Yeah, that we would both like it. So, uh, yep. And this was our third one. And this was a must. So with all of the hand sanitizing and hand washing that I am doing, I just, my cuticles and around my fingernails stay, stay so rough. I actually ran out of my basin sugar scrub, oh my gosh, probably four months ago and um, haven't bought any more and I wasn't going to go any more time without, I mean, they're actually like cracking so bad they're bleeding now. So yeah, and this really, really helps. So this should last me anywhere from six All right, eight. so let's finish up. So our second day, second and last day at Epcot, I got my $9.99 trash can. So I collect the festival trash cans. I have quite a few years worth of so the flower and garden and um, the food and wine. And you saw earlier where we had purchased the Rumi Hot and Squeak um, scavenger hunt. And our finishing prize was a little thermos. You could pick between four. There was Figment, Figment Mickey, or mini, but of course I got Remy. It's kind of hard to see since it's see-through. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you hear the background noise and that type of thing. I'm actually on the balcony of the resort right now. Um, for the second stay, we were staying just two nights, so I, we didn't bring in the ring light. We didn't bring everything in. So I'm having to do it outside so you can actually see. And finally, they came out with a monorail car magnet. Um, my other ride is a monorail, so I have a decal, not a magnet, on my black Suburban that says my other vehicle is a dune buggy. Well, they don't make, they make magnets now instead of decals, which is kind of scary because people can seal it but Mr. Mouse Diva has been wanting something like this for and a very long that time. is all we got at Epcot that day but when we got to the resort that night ah! I got me a journal like you know guys I'm always looking for journals because I fill them up so quickly but this is Disney Vacation Club and it has kind of like their new logo that came out I think it was last year and um, just inside is just all the different resorts. And it's not lined or anything. It, that's what every page is, just a very faint um, graphic of the resorts. And I'm actually going to use it as um, every time we stay in a resort using our DVC points, I'm actually going to um, you know, just kind of like a little diary of 
where we stayed, what happened, who went, that type of thing. Now, I have been seeing this everywhere we go because they have the Halloween merch out. It's just drink mix. All you do is add it to water. But it's the flavors and the little canisters um, that got my attention. Mr. Mouse Diva picked up squirrel. I know, you guys think he got it for me because I'm always squirreling and y'all evidence on video. Be talking to you about something, showing you something, and then it's like, <gasps> you know, something else gets my attention. I squirrel. But Skylin also does that. And so he picked this up for her for Christmas. Um, it's been out a while. He's been <laughs> eyeing it every trip, and he's finally like, I'm just getting it for her. Look, um, I showed you guys in the new merch vlog. So they came out with kitchen sponges in the sh different shapes. So I like the little balloon. There's a monorail one and a castle one, I believe. And it's only $6.99. And when you put your discount on there, I mean, hello, that, that's I'm not I'm so happy that I have finished my collection. So yesterday we were at Magic Kingdom and um, this is actually a donut holder, a snack holder, but that's what came with it, little mini cinnamon donuts. But this is Gus. So I have finally finished the collection. And what happened is this has taken like four trips to um, get all of these because they didn't come out at the same time. You never knew when they were gonna come out. So, and I never even knew, like when I found the first one, I'm like, did the other ones come out? And I just, they sold out and didn't know it. So yeah, it's taken months. And this was, you know, before. This is the after COVID one. Um, the others came out before, but it does have like his little, you can't see it during the day, but you can see this little light comes on and it shines up on his face, but I'm gonna turn it up. But he went for a ride with us on Splash Mountain and guess what we found out he did? Yes, he glows in the dark. Okay, so let's see. Yesterday, uh, again, last full day at Magic Kingdom. I mean, last full day here. But these have came out, and guys, I don't know what came over me, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't worn overalls in years. Like, I, I haven't... I had a pair of maternity overall shorts, because these are shorts, um, when I was pregnant. You know, I wore them for all three pregnancies. But I haven't worn any since. And before then, I would wear some. And I'm like, you know what? I just got this bug, and I'm like, I want to wear short overalls. It'll be next summer, because of course, we're in North Carolina, so it's already too cold for shorts there. But next summer, I will have these Mickey, and they were 44 $44.99, and I probably wouldn't have got them if it wasn't for the discount. I will have these Mickey overalls for next, well, spring, really. Two pockets in the back. I am super pumped about having those. And, ah, yay! Oh, my upside down adventure book. My adventure book. So, this is really heavy, and you open it up. Ah, love the smell of paper um and you have this little map and then like a little picture where you can actually put in a picture if you wanted to these are um i'm like i can slide my fingernail up underneath there that's what those are for you can actually put in your own picture if you wanted to stuff i'm going to do and then every page has the up house with the balloons we have Russell over here with the balloons. And down at the bottom, we have Kevin. And every page is like that. And there's just so many pages. That's what makes it heavy. And then the back page, thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. And also you could put another picture here instead of that one. And there we go. So, marvelous journal. Now, it is $29.99. And at the register, appropriately, I saw one of these right there hanging, and, I, and they were $5 each. 
and I'm like, heck yeah, and then, so I put it there, and the um, cast member said, well, all the dated stuff is buy one, get one free, and I'm like, even if it's already been reduced to five, she says, yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, so I got this one for free, which I probably gonna do a giveaway with this one, because I mean, I got it for free, so I'll probably end up passing it on. Um, you'll have to check out Instagram. That's probably where it's it's going to originate from. Um, so check me out on Instagram. And then last night, we saw this in the resort <laughs> gift shop. And they're just men's underwear. But I got them for Lakeland for Christmas. I got a kick out of these. They actually had a pair of Kevin ones. And who knows, if I see them today, I might get him the Kevin ones also. It's just that these were these were pricey for a pair of underwear. $19.99 for one pair. Um, so that's why I ended up with the only one. Okay, I have one more item. Mr. Mouse Diva is wearing it, so he's taking stuff down to the car. So I will include him in a second. And then if there's anything else that we buy, um, I'll probably show y'all okay, from the Okay, turn beginning. around. Let's see the other part of your shirt. Oh, let's do the sleeve. All right, and this with the discount was like $21 or $22. Yep. But wait, there's more. I forgot about this heavy bag. Guys, certain candy here, prepackaged candy, is buy one, get one. Oh, yes, buy one, get one. So Mr. Mouse Depot was like, we are buying and getting. Um, so the... Chippendale butter toffee peanuts and because it's the bag stuff buy one get one so sour cherry balls and um, assorted sour balls oh sour gummies I love eating gummies while I'm driving I love um Sour character gummies and sour oh more sour sour character gummies like he actually picked all the candy except for these you know I love these and get two of these every trip so the fact that it's buy one get one makes it even better and then we have the four chocolate bars they have so they have the strawberry truffle and they have the birthday cake and the vanilla cone caramel and the peanut butter banana. Tom's like, ew, and I'm like, good, all mine, don't have to share. Almost forgot to show you guys this. So Tom got a new phone case in the Space Mountain um, gift shop because his old phone case was like falling apart on the sides. I think he paid 31. I totally forgot to finish filming in the vehicle. We had a few more things that we had bought right before we left that we bought at Magic Kingdom. Mr. Mouse Diva finally got one of the Chippendale uh, nutcrackers. He went ahead and got Dale because it had he had more nuts <laughs> um, than Chip. And I think, so regularly this is $60. We've actually admired it the last, I think it's been out two years. Um, but with that discount, finally broke down and got him one. Let me show you how he opens. His little mouth opens right there. And get you a little close up there. There we go. And even though we really needed to be headed out of the park, um, I waited in line for the Haunted Mansion store because I have to go in that store every trip. And after life of the party, it is a magnet, $14.99. Super stoked about these. It is a haunted mansion ornament set for $39.99. I'm in love with the box. Now, I'm torn because I love the box that it's in. But I actually want to see them kind of up close and out of the box. So, at the very end, during my outro music, I will probably show a close-up of all of these. Always remember when you're watching my videos 
to uh, stay tuned after the whole see at the parks for the outro music because I always put in clips and photographs that you don't see um, in the actual video. So it's like an added bonus at the end. With that being said, guys, hit the subscribe button, bell notification button, and I'll see you at the parks. I've been all around the world oh, Every city, every place oh, Always been a restless girl oh, But now there's a window change